What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little facelift on my Mark 6 GTI, so stay tuned. Alright, here she is. This is my 2011 GTI. What we're going to be doing today is put a uh, front lip on the front of here, and then do yellow fog light covers on that, and then we're going to be doing blacked out side marker lights so that's going to change the front of the gti and uh let's go check out those parts what i got going on all right so here it is this is the front lip this is the uh, ecs tuning front lip i'll put a link down in the description for all these parts so that you can check them out online or purchase them or whatever but i also have the uh, ecs tuning uh blacked out side marker lights and then this is the lamex I think that's how you say it, Layman X or something like that. Uh, fog light covers, those are the yellow ones. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump into this project and uh, get them installed. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, more difficult of the three, and that would be uh, the lip. So we'll put the lip on first. Let's go ahead, head on over here, check out the hardware that it comes with. This is the hardware, it's just a bunch of screws that you screw from underneath. And then it has kind of like a little nut cert that you will drill a hole the center part of the lip and then it comes with a little screw that goes to this and then just a whole bunch of them but uh let's go ahead grab some of this painter's tape actually i'm going to use some thicker painter's tape this painter's tape and uh, we'll go ahead and dry fit it on there see how it fits and then uh, go from there so here's a cool thing that the lip is actually going to cover so if you have any little dents or scrapes or anything on the lower half of your bumper, it really covers this stuff up. So that's also an added bonus to that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get the lip kind of up here, over here in place. I'm gonna get some tape and then just tape it right over here. Probably put some tape here, here, and then two pieces of tape on the other side. Kind of see where it's at and how it fits. And then, uh, then we'll start screwing it and drilling holes for the uh, center part of the uh, nut cert. A few moments later. So we have it all mounted up. That literally took me less than five minutes. Now, it looks pretty straight, looks pretty good. Basically, my key is you just take this and you put it right up there, flush, and then you can kind of feel where it goes, where it's supposed to go. Like this is a pretty good fitted lip. As you feel around and you can tell exactly where it's supposed to fit and everything so it's actually really really simple i think the hard part is just going to be mounting it from underneath which that's not even very difficult at all but i like the way it fits it looks good standing back this is a lot easier than i was expecting so now this is the nut insert so this one goes to the nut insert right here you just drill a hole in your bumper and then you push it through and then that's what supports the middle of your bumper. So here we are, we're underneath the front lip. This is the middle section where the nut cert will go. So you just have to go up here, drill a hole right over here for that nut cert and then this will get bolted right up in there like, just like that. Super easy. And now here is an underside view of the front lip. Working all the way around. And now if you look under here, there are little holes right here, right there, right there, right there, one right here, and then it stops right there, and then on the other side, and then all you're going to do is just use your drill and screw those screws right into the plastic right underneath here, and then you're securely mounted. Now don't forget that it also has a little 3M adhesive on the top side up here which I'll go up there and show you that in here in a second. So after you've figured out that this is exactly where you want your lip, we're gonna go ahead and mark this with a marker so we know where to drill the hole, pull the lip off, drill the hole, because I don't wanna drill this hole any bigger than I have to, because I want the head of the bolt to not go through that, obviously, and I don't wanna to have to use a washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the hole, and you can kinda of tell, see how these little holes right here, this is pretty much centered right inside there and it fits pretty good right there now if you look here the red stripping right there that's the 3m double-sided sticky tape adhesive 
that's on each side of the curves that's what I was talking about now before you stick this on there make sure you wipe with uh, rubbing alcohol or some sort of cleaner to get it nice and clean so that that adhesive actually sticks because you don't want that coming off here's what I'm gonna be using it was like a buck fifty or dollar forty seven at Walmart but there you go just like that she's pretty much on there all I got to do now is go underneath and then do all the screws I think there's like four on this side and four on the other side maybe three I don't I don't really remember but oh yeah I got to remove my tape too but that's pretty much how it's gonna look pretty simple I would say that collectively I mean I already had it lifted up and everything but just installing the lip I would say probably 45 minutes and you got yourself a cool looking front lip just so you know they sent 10 of these bad boys just so you know also this is what I had to end up doing is I had to run two extensions on this so that it could clear the lip on there because uh, basically when you try and screw into the holes this gets in the way all right there it is looking good yeah buddy it'll look even better when it's on the ground once we get everything installed, I'll drop it to the ground and we'll see it, how it looks on the ground. So there we go. Let's go ahead, start on the uh, yellow fog lights. All right, so these are the fog light covers that I got. Here's the brand. I picked them up on Amazon. I think they were around 17 to 20 bucks, um, but I'll put a link down below. You can check those out. But essentially, all it is is just a cutout shape of vinyl, uh, see-through vinyl in the yellow color that you just uh, apply to your headlights or your fog light covers and uh, they'll look pretty pimp. So I'll go ahead, open these up and then uh, start on the install. Here's what they look like. It's a very, very thick vinyl. It's almost, I mean, it's vinyl, but it's not like a sticker decal. It's much thicker than that and way more durable feeling, but this is what they look like. I've had mine in the heat to kind of make them malleable or is that even a word? I know that's a word, but is that the word that I'm looking for? more appliable anyways sorry <laughs> anyways we're gonna go ahead and uh just get to it so we're just gonna start off by cleaning the lenses with alcohol make sure they're super clean and then uh, we can start applying the actual decal the instructions do say that you can apply this either wet or dry uh, i've decided i'm just going to use a spray bottle use some soapy water just in case it does also say that you can remove this and reapply it a couple times before it loses its stickiness in case you don't want to use water. And then uh, I'm also going to use the squeegee that I had laying around, but it should be pretty simple. Um, let's go install it. All right. Well, that was literally super, super easy. Like it, it took me one minute to put this in. You get the light, the actual lens wet, and then I got the yellow part wet. And then I put it on there and then as you can see you can work it in by just pushing this in and it creates a gap and it goes in super easy. Now I have a little bit of water down here and a little bit of water up there but over time that's going to dry and then we'll just keep on keep an eye on it. But it's a hot day today and uh, by tomorrow this should be all be gone. But look at that. Damn it's going to look sick. Super easy. Definitely recommend that super easy install i've seen other videos of people install it and they had issues but this is probably i don't know an easy five minute mod super easy definitely worth it boom and just like that we got yellow fogs look at that that looks so sick hell yeah literally less than a five minute mod so sick now we just got to get rid of these side markers so let's go ahead and jump on that as i said in the beginning of the video i got the ecs tuning blacked out side marker lights this i guess the uh the trend of this video is super easy mods to do so uh these are super easy to do so we'll go ahead open these up and i'll show you how to uh, install the side marker lights as well so i opened up the package it comes with two side marker lights and two amber light bulbs that you could swap out and uh, here we go. You come over here, we're gonna start on the driver's side. I'll probably just show you the driver's side because the passenger side is the same. But if you look inside your wheel well, you can see this little cap inside here, or not. Let me get a light. 
much better. Now we can see that little cap. If you look at the bottom, there's just like a little uh, tab. You just pull on that. It's kind of just like a handle sort of deal. You pull on that and then that will open up the access to the back of this side marker light. And then uh, I'll show you what you're looking for here in a second. So I'm just using a screwdriver to get up on, underneath here, kind of help me so I don't break my fingernail off in there. But it just pops off just like that. Voila. So now you just stick your hand in here, reach up in here, and then there's a little tab that you're looking for that you push. And then it just pops out just like that. This is the little tab deal. You just push that and it comes right out. And then now you just disconnect this. Let's just pull. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Maybe not. I don't really want to break it, but there we go. There we go. And we can change out the bulb. So this one's a clear one. If you want to leave clear, you can leave clear or go amber. It's all up change to you. Change out the bulb. I couldn't do it one-handed, but uh, change out the bulb. You try not to touch the bulb with your hand. I just used my t-shirt. Then we're just going to slide this back on there like this. And then we'll pop it right back into place. Now when you put this back in, you have this little clip that will go in first. So you want to put it in, in this way and then pop it in just like this. So you put it in and then it just pops right back into place. And there we go. Here's a little look with the amber lights on. Looking sick. Hell yeah. Looks dope. All right, guys, I'm really liking the look. It looks freaking awesome. I really, 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 really like it. Anyways, make sure uh, you do subscribe to the channel because that helps me out. And you can follow along on the journey of the GTI build. And yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please, please, please. It helps the video um, be promoted on YouTube and uh, helps out the channel and everything. So make sure thumbs up. Please, 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 please. Anyways, let's get this thing on the ground so we can see it what it actually looks like. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that install. Uh, it gives you a little bit of an idea of how you could do a facelift to your Mark VI GTI for 200 bucks, less than 200 bucks. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to, to the channel and uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up for the video if you like it. Share it if you really, really, really like it. But uh, thanks for joining me. Peace out and bye guys.